Hey guys, how's it going? It's Farmer Nick here. Welcome back to the Missouri map, episode 22. Today we have the we're demoing a Case 380 Magnum here today, and we also have a Brent V800 here. Um, today we are gonna we got this guy. I got this uh, grain card here from a guy on Facebook on expendable modding. Big shout outs to him. Uh, you know who you are. You should be watching this video probably. Um, yeah, he said I asked him about this grain card and if um, I could be able to use it for a video, and he says sure, why not? Um, so, yeah, basically, um, we're just trying it out. He basically got this thing converted here the other day. It's red. There's nice, big, good year, good year tires on this thing. Hopefully the guy, or not the guy, but hopefully the, uh, everything is going to go good on this green cart. I've never tested this thing out at all. So this is his first attempt at using this green cart. And we're going to be demoing this tractor and green cart out. We're only renting this guy, but let me know if you guys want me to keep this, uh, bad boy here. And along with the Kenzie up in the field on the 8R. So we're going to hop in here, and we're going to run this uh, tractor up to the bean field where Ryler is picking the soybeans. Ryler's also in here, but he's busy on doing his homework or something, so he cannot talk. So we're going to head up there and turn those rotor beacons on, and let's go. Alright, let's pull out of the farm here with this nice green cart. Go by the farm. We got lots of bales in here that we got to kind of get rid of because I think it's starting to lag up the uh, server here a little so hopefully we get that problem fixed up we're picking lots of corn bought lots of more land up in over here um, you guys can see why is there uh, Noah and I were picking corn in this field or we chopped all this field off but we're gonna be chopping the corn in this big massive field up here to fill the pit for the cows up next so that's gonna be our plan Probably on Friday night we might do another stream on Squad Farms, but it might be on here. We'll see, or it might just be videos. We're not sure. So, past the gateway in where I've been going in. Ryler's somewhere in here with the... What do we got? 98, 70 STS here combine in here. So let's run in here and see where he is. Hopefully he's got some grain in here we can unload on the go. And hopefully he's a good operator so he knows how to pick everything, you know. He's going around that side, it looks like it. All right, let's run in here. Run down in the field here. Let's see what this green cart looks like when it gets dirty, I wonder. Ah, uh, Riley's running his rotor beacons, you know, just for the heck of it. There's the cow yard. We're going to get some trees. I forgot to add the placeable tree in here, but we should be able to do that for next time. That way we can put trees along. We're going to be able to put trees down along the laneway down here like down along there so it looks a lot better we're gonna turn around here in the soybeans won't matter just a little you know what i'm saying wait for riley to get it uh hopefully he comes over here that way we can uh oh, it looks like he's gonna come up over here first let's watch riley do some uh cutting beans here look at that nice 9870 in action the FTS series combine by JSHG modding in. I can't remember the other guy's name that uh, helped do it. But otherwise, it's looking pretty good here. I'm not sure what he's doing. Hopefully, guys. Hopefully, guys. I have everything set and ready on here. That way, I don't have any more mic issues. I'm hoping I got all that stuff uh, done. So here we go. Let's get the cruise control set in the low six here. There we go. Let's get this bad boy up and let's run her off. Rip. There she goes. She's a villain. She's not running quite uh, five mile an hour or six mile an hour here today. She's running about four. Yeah, about four. I wonder why he's running so slow. Probably can't pull it up the hill. I don't know. Maybe these beans are yielding too good. I would have thought this combine would have been going uh, six or more just for the sake of it, but I guess not. I don't know how much this uh, grain cart holds. Oh, holds uh, 20, uh, basically 30. 30,000 or so. Because it's a John Deere. K Ryler here is a case guy, so, you know, he's just gonna complain on this John Deere over here. I think that's all he's got. 
unfortunately. Let's go run up here and we'll uh, put some on the truck here and we'll see what else to do. Try this a little different. So let us know what you guys think we should do for grain cart. Uh, I don't know about keeping this K380 Magnum here. I'm not sure if that's what we want to do or not. Let us know if we want to ke keep a case tractor. Uh, we're definitely keeping this 8R, but I don't know about this grain cart. Let me know about that grain cart. So there's nothing in this grain cart here. Let's pull the semi up because, well, do we want to? Because there's no more soybeans down, I guess down there a ways, but we'll see if the truck will start here. Because where else do we have soybeans? Uh, right here. So, I guess we could just basically leave it right there. Because Riley's going to finish that bit up there quick. And then we're going to basically do that. I'll turn over here. Look at the... I don't know. What do you guys... I want to put these green cards side by side. See what they look like better. I think the Brent V800 here has a longer pipe on it too. Just for... Uh, that's a nice feature I see. There's no tarp on this grain cart yet. I don't know if he's gonna be working on it or what, but he's gonna be probably editing this thing up pretty good. Um, so the cart is a little bit higher, it looks like it. Well, I don't have developer tools open here yet. Let's get developer tools and we will uh, get up there and we will see which one higher is higher. Let's go from the back, I think it's like fair. Let's go down just a tad. See, we're on the low side, right? So I'm thinking they're pretty, gonna be pretty darn close. This Brent looks to be a little bit higher and beefier. here. Looks like Ryler's coming back in with the combine. Um, and then I guess he might as well, I don't know how he's gonna do her over there. He might as well go to the, cross the road first and then go to the big strip. He's gonna unload onto me here. The nice thing about this STS series combine is it actually has pretty good darn uh, good brakes, so. That's all you got, Ryler? So otherwise, uh, Jack's pretty, uh, that'd be kind of nice. Um, Jack looks a bit about normal. Um, it's kind of a little goofy, kind of how this case uh, tractor is set up, but looks to be pretty darn good here. I'm just gonna walk around it. Um, I don't really see any two major problems with it. Um, looks like there's a random glitch on that light there. I don't even have the lights on, I'm quite sure. Yeah, there's no lights on. Uh, I noticed the flashers do not work on this thing either. Uh, what else do they got going on here? Uh, looks like there is a little bit of a glitch on it, but that's not too bad. Nothing really to worry about. Get that combine going, Ryler. Quit sleeping. Let's turn on our four ways. Throw that pipe out. Make a long pipe. See what options we all got here. Alright, good. So we can move that in and out. Just gotta get that combine out of the way so we can dump on that truck. Hopefully, no cars come running up here. Now get her going there, Ryder. Get her harvesting, mate. Got a nice uh, capacity down loader here. I think you uh, said earlier. Oh. Alright, we gotta do this. That's nothing to do with the green cart at all, guys. It's just I gotta get my hood on so I can see what's going on. Because they open developer tools. So he did make this green cart that it does take a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe it wouldn't hurt to speed it up just a tad. But otherwise, it'll seem pretty good. Nice, green card, awesome here. I can't 
can't see too many problems wrong with them. What do you guys think about this great crate? You guys like it? Let me know in that comment section if you guys think this is a great piece of equipment or a great setup we got going on this farm yard. Um, I'm thinking about honestly starting to post daily on the tournament, but at the same time, it's going to be three months long. So we're going to post every other day just for the sake of it. Um, we're going to mix it up between this series and the other series. We're going to start picking some beans now. We're hopping in the combine. Oh my gosh, we're only going four mile an hour. This thing is supposed to be going six mile an hour. But hey, look at This thing needs repaired. When we get to the end here, let's back up a bit. Um, Riley, where are you with that grain card? I'm coming on over here. Riley's going to be running the grain card here for a bit because he's a big case guy. So we're going to let him run that grain card for a bit. I'm going to drop this head up here quick. And I'm going to run back to the main farm and repair this bad boy up. I was actually drop it on the header trailer since the header trailer is sitting right here, right? Got him. Good. Get over here towards uh, Riley here a bit. Because we picked a whole bunch of uh, corn and stuff up at Matthew's. So we're calling this kind of, where is it? This right here is going to be Matthew's kind of little bit of farm he wanted to run on here. So that's going to be Matthew's farmyard. And then that's his big cornfield that we're going to be chopping. And there's his house over there. So we're going to unload this bad boy combine here, 9870. And let's throw these flashers and stuff on here. Boom, boom. Riley, he's gonna probably, you know, I don't know what he's gonna do with that one. Probably just sit here and wait. So we turn a little bit of lights, because he's gonna drive to the main farm too. He wants to drive around. I'm not sure where the gateway is. We're just gonna sneak out here, because we gotta get these beans off, because we got a lot of beans to do here yet. So let's run back to the farm. He's probably going like 32 mile an hour or more, because that tractor just goes for sane. Uh, you guys can see the workshop I got placed down over there quick. Um, it's the only spot I could really get it to work, and I made it kind of fit back, in back by the shed, made it nice and neat, kind of, so let's see how that turns out. So let's run back here with the 9870 here, and we'll uh, customize this bad boy up, and we'll uh, carry on. I like the cab in this guy. Hopefully we can get these uh, combines in the tournament here shortly. Uh, I requested them quite a while ago for them, so I don't know how to ask them what's going to go on. Riley, he's probably going to go customize this thing up here, over here too. I guarantee he's going to customize this tractor. But even though he rents it, so I don't think he can. He'll get a little... I don't think he knows that one, but he'll get her figured out. I only leased the tractor like that, so you can only... Uh, and I did lease that grain cart too, so we're going to be trying this stuff out quick. And then we will know what's going to go on with the... Uh, let me know, guys, what's going to go on. Pair, yes. Age, a day? Days, one day. It's weird. Full repair. Mazda grab some fuel while we're here. Let's run over here. Uh, let's find the fuel barrel. We passed it on the way in here. Let's fill this thing up and we will uh, run back out to the field and get the harvest and the rest of these beans out. There's our nice placeable green bins on here. Um, the one thing I hate about this map is there's no cell points or anything. <laughs> Looks like Ryler can't drive. Um, there is no uh, trigger here either. I wouldn't even say that works. Let's back up here a little. The fuel tank should be at the back, right? It is right there, like right up behind. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, we're just gonna go back to the field then, and hopefully we don't run out of fuel here today. And we will have to find a placeable that has either a fuel tank on it, get the placeable fuel tank in here, it's literally the exact same thing. Or we just buy like a motorized kind of one on a trailer. Whatever you guys want us to do, let me know by dropping it in that comment section. And let me know if you're doing that grain card up there. Um, big shout outs to the guy that made it for me from Expendable Modding. Thank you so much for letting me use it. It is awesome. Um, there's a few issues with it. You get, As you've seen here earlier, the flashers do not work on it, unfortunately. And there's a little bit of a glitch to it. 
that's about all. Um, I'll probably send you a link to the video here, uh, the guy from Expendable Modding, so he can uh, get those uh, things tweaked. And I don't know if he's going to release this grain card, or I don't know much about it. So we will have to see if it gets released. So up here we go, back it up. All right, Ryler's kind of where I want to go. So hopefully Ryler will get out of the road. Look at that, he listens. Perfect. Now he should be able to harvest that six mile an hour instead of four, because you know four mile an hour sucks. We're still going at six, or four. Do these, this combine not have enough power? Like fuel? Riley, go get a refillable, uh, go get me a place, go get me a fuel trailer, please. Fill full fuel. I don't think that's going to make a difference either. I think these, uh, um, I think that basically this combine is not good on beans. It ran pretty good. It was running about six mile an hour for corn, but holy smoke, she's not running her on beans. I don't know if it's just steep hills. We'll see when she comes back down, but I would have thought it would have made a difference. I don't know, maybe the game's just got some problems here all of a sudden, or I don't know what to tell you guys. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. So Ryler and I are going to keep messing with this thing, and we are going to get that combine. So we're basically, we're just going to keep harvesting soybeans here. You guys seen a lot of us harvest soybeans, so I'm not going to do too much of it this video. Um, we'll finish the soybeans probably next video. We did a big wheat harvest, a uh, long wheat harvest. Uh, we're not going to do a really long bean one. We'll just see how full this green card is over here, actually. I want to see how full it is when we get this bit done, and then we'll depend if we'll pick it back up when we get the green card full, because I want to get that green card full here today and see what it looks like full, so we can see if there's any bugs with it when it's full or anything. Make sure that case tractor has enough power. But I know it's a case. It should pull it, guys. Calm down. We'll find out. Hire a worker there for a minute. Let's run over here and jump in the Case 380 Magnum here. Look at that nice green card on the back. Huh. If it, if it, anything, a uh, 9RT couldn't run it. <laughs> 9RT. I don't know what he means by that. Yeah, we do need a 9RT. Squad really wants one in FS19. So, yeah. Well, guys, uh, we will uh, talk to you guys when we get this grain cart full. Alrighty, guys. Uh, Ryler and I, we were talking here. There is no way that we're going to be able to really get this grain cart full here in soybeans because soybeans don't yield worth a hoot and this grain cart basically holds what's it hold here one dollar Carson's also popped in here I guess um let's see what it holds here what is this grain cart so basically 30,000 bushels uh what's our Kenzie hold 37,000 so we're basically yeah 7,000 bushels shorter, but it's nothing on the grain cut at all, but it's just beans don't yield as good in Farm Simulator. Especially these beans are not fertilizer. They don't have any fertilizer on them or anything. So let's get a little closer to this truck and we'll unload this last little bit of soybeans into our uh, nice semi here and we'll, if this thing does take a few minutes, that's kind of nice, you know, more realistic. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I, th I pretty, I'm gonna give this grain card a pretty good, uh, I'll give it like a 4 out of 5. I'll give it a 4 out of 5. For any of you guys are curious how many, what range I'd give it out of, i give it a 4 out of 5. Um, but yeah, there's like, pretty much little minor details need to be fixed, otherwise this grain card is pretty good. So I'll give him a 4.5. How's that? 4.5 out of 5. 
four and a half out of five. We'll do that. Just because if we fix the two lights and maybe put some tail lights in the back of this thing, that's pretty uh, minty on here, then I think it should be pretty five out of five. If you can do that, if not, no big deal. Um, otherwise, the auger light here is pretty good. It's in the best position there. So it doesn't move in and out, but or the, depth, the spout does move it in and out and everything. It's pretty good. I feel like, can I actually sit in the... Alright, okay, yeah, so you can actually... You should be able to see if you had a higher tractor than this case, but you should be able to look. The idea of Brent um, is option here is to be able to sit in the cab and not looking over right around how our JM would just come straight out over here. Our JM auger would kind of come out about here. The Brent is way up here. So you should be able to sit in your tractor cab and just kind of look over to the left and be able to see it unload. That's the nice thing about Brent design there I've seen lately. So our next grain cart I'm hoping in real life is probably going to be a Brent. Just for the sake of it. You know, because I like this kind of extension. They're bigger. I've seen, they're getting, Brents are getting pretty popular lately. I've seen better than J. I don't know, better than JM. We've never ran one, but I have ran one for a day for the neighbor. But I kind of like it uh, just because the spout is kind of sticking over here. Before I did YouTube, otherwise, if I was doing YouTube, I would record it for you guys. So that's going to probably come to an end for this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, turn on post notifications, and don't forget to go and check out all our other videos. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for all watching.